Stop it. Mm. You had enough. Stop it. Hello. Do you know what you did last night? Behaved perfectly appropriately and conducted myself in a ladylike manner. <laughs> hell no. God, alcohol is a hell of a drug, huh? I have my moments. Allow me to recap. Tequila, you're my only friend. Tequila! Tequila! <laughs> Mija! And that's from the man at the end of the bar, whose mother still dresses him. Hey, baby. I like your outfit. It would look great on my bedroom floor. <laughs> First of all, gross. Second of all, never send a girl a drink and follow it up with that slime. Excuse me? Talk to me like you're a person, not like you're Austin Powers. You need help, man. Who says I need help? I do. I say you need help. Tell me, do you enjoy going home every night to a bottle of lube? You don't know what you're talking about. Check it out. Your best bet is red at nine o'clock. What? She's, she's way out of my league. Okay, I'm just gonna skip over the part where I'm insulted. Now, pay attention, Emilio. It's Joe. Whatever. You look like the kind of guy who lived at the comic book store as a kid, am I right? How'd you know that? Judging from your outfit, your total inability to talk to women. Hey! You're still wearing your Comic-Con bracelet. Anyway, Red over there has a first edition of Walking Dead in her bag, which means she liked graphic novels before they were the new Twilight. Yeah, but she must get hit on all the time. Obviously, but how many of those bar yahoos are gonna care about her thoughts on old versus new Star Trek and not just her cup size? The old ones do have a certain kind of flair that the new ones can't- Stop. I'm so bored. Just be yourself and don't recite lines from Playboy, okay? You ready? Hey! Hi! Uh, we're just having a discussion over here and we need another opinion. I'm Skylar. Sheena. And this is? Joe. Anywho, we were just discussing a survival plan for the inevitable zombie apocalypse. Thoughts? You were? See, I say just pretend to be bitten and coast, but Joe over here has a big brand scheme to save the day and be a real Rick Grimes. Where do you stand? Well, what about trying to find a cure? Humanity has lived through many plagues before, none with the magnitude of a zombie apocalypse, but... Exactly. Science evolves and adapts to what humanity's needs dictates. Riveting. Now, why don't you two talk adventures and nerd dumb, and I'll be over at the other end of the bar drinking myself stupid. Bye bye So, what do you think about the White Walkers making up Oh my god. So, you can do that instead of running scams. Why don't you start your own relationship website? I just got fired from DesperateSingles.com. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to stop my brain from leaking. You're observant and super judgmental. Use your bitchy Sherlock skills and put them to good use. Make some people happy and make money in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the career advice, Donald Trump. If you'll excuse me, Mama needs a dark room and an egg sandwich. Go lick your wounds, see if I care. Besides, what poor schmuck is going to want to take relationship advice from me? Great. So today is about one very important idea. What's that? You are not the worst option out there. Here you go. What's this? This is you picking up chicks. Good luck. Hey, where are you going? I'm not comfortable with this. So, you're doing the polling for Vogue? Uh, sorry, what? The poll? Your friend said you wanted to ask me some questions for the survey. Oh, um, yeah, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> hi, hi, I'm James, James Engelberg. Kathy, hi. Hi, hi uh, so, this month we're doing a poll on undateable men. Undateable. Okay, I'm game. 
Oh, okay. Uh, if, if I told you I think of my mother's tits when I have sex, how would you respond? I think that would be weird. Uh, sorry, uh, next question. If I told you I wanted to suckle your breasts like a calf, how would that make you feel? Oh, pervert! You're asking questions for Vogue? Question is, do you like it rough, smooth, or somewhere in between? I... <laughs> I guess in between. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that means your ass cheeks. Do you see yourself presently or in the future in or around my penis? You're disgusting. Would you like to meet Ivan? Ivan Nidaho is the name of my penis. Tell me more about Ivan. Why do they all have water? So, how'd it go? Well, I'm definitely gonna have pneumonia, and I'm definitely gonna be on the sex offenders list. So great. Do you feel good? Obviously not. Do you feel stupid? Yes. Can this get any worse? No. Good, now go ask a girl out. Hi. Hi. Um, the thing is, hi. You're stunningly beautiful, so beautiful that I'm gonna forget how to form sentences. And I really wanna take you out to dinner. Can I have your number? Yeah. Sure. Really? Here. Thanks! That was fucking awesome! Welcome to Skylar Grayson's Wing Woman Services, my friend. Thank you.